That's it for the reports. We're on to the segment of council that we call council initiated discussion. And uh, this is where we're basically turning the floor over to you. Um, uh, as an example, the presentation on the bioinformatics portfolio was a suggestion or re request from the council. So are there other topics you want to hear about or are there other burning issues that you want to um, inform us of? You look a little stunned. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> You're always surprised when we actually say open oh, mic. <clears throat> you don't have to use all 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, Bob. I, I, I just say that I, I wanted to thank the program people particularly for the effort on coding and trying to think through the coding and how much effort and time that takes and to, I mean it's uh, it's I'm sure it's a lot of hard work and it requires a lot of uh, not expertise and judgment so, anyway, I would second that I mean it's 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 and it's, at the same time it's sort of frustrating because the tools we're using are completely non-existent essentially so it's, it's very very tedious So uh, announcements, items of interest, there are a couple of, um, there are three reports. Uh, two come from the American College of Medical Genetics. One is their regular report of their recent activities that they always provide to the council. The other is a policy statement on informed consent for reporting incidental findings following genome sequencing or exome sequencing. And we also have an update uh, from the National Society of Genetic Counselors uh, for you to look at. And then we move on to the conflict of interest chant, which I am required to read to you aloud. Um, and this applies, this is the, the closing of the open session, so this applies to the discussion of the application in closed session. This will certify that in the review of applications uh, conducted uh, by the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research on September 9th and 10th, 2013, I absented myself and did not participate in the discussion of, nor vote on, any application in which I, or to my knowledge, my spouse, minor child, or close professional associate has a financial interest, nor on any application from an organization or institution where I am employed, consultant, officer, director, or trustee, am negotiating for employment, or otherwise have a financial interest. That is one long sentence. In council actions in which we voted on a block of applications without discussing any individual one, the on block action, my vote did not apply to any application from any institution fulfilling the criteria in the preceding paragraph. Uh, within your blue folders, there is a document that we ask you to sign and Comfort will collect them from you. So at this point, we're uh, closing the open session and we'll take a 10 minute uh, recess to allow them to shut down the cameras. We'll come back. We have a little bit more business to do in the closed session, um, beginning of the second closed session. Thank you everyone.